Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another car build and tuning episode. It's leaving up to Christmas. We're trying to get these done every single day, all the way up to Christmas, uh, which is absolutely insane. This month is flying past. It's already the 8th, so we're on to the 8th car build now. Um, last episode we made this a Toyota... Why did I say it like that? <laughs> a Toyota GT86. Um, I got told to make it into an FD spec car, so I went full balls out on this, as you can probably see. We've got an S2 class uh, car here it's running over a thousand horsepower um, obviously with a thousand horsepower it's hard to control um, so it's not the perfect tune ever because uh, I don't normally run cars like this so in terms of tuning um, these perfectly I couldn't get it but I got the stable nest there um, obviously you have to get used to the car which is wicked so on to the things I have to say, I do have a giveaway on my channel so if you go back through my videos um, the giveaway is up till Friday uh, so enter that if you want to and also on this video in the comments below leave what you want to see in the video tomorrow uh, leave a theme with it if you want it to be slammed etc uh, or you could just leave it up to me it's fine um, so on to the next one uh, the comment was by it's Erin and got told to do a BMW M5 so let's jump and get the car okay so here we are uh, BMW B I can't even speak. BMW M5. There we go. Uh, but there also is another BMW M5, which is the old school version. And to be honest, I want to use the old school version. Um, obviously, there's a new school version. Uh, if you want me to make that next... Um... Okay, what? Okay. Apparently, I have to download this car. But if you guys want me to do the new version, uh, just leave a comment suggesting the new version. Uh, but seeing as there wasn't really a... A certain car you wanted me to use, um, I am going to do the old version because I, I prefer the old version, the new versions of BMW. Um, I'm not really a fan to be honest, so let's see what paints there are. That could be quite cool. A nice little mouth on it. Uh, let's keep that in mind. Um, all pretty. Okay, let's go with the mouth. It's something different. A little bit different from what I normally do, so I kind of I kind of like it though. Adds a nice little effect, a carbon bonnet. Yeah, nice rims on this, and we could be drifting this bad boy everywhere. <laughs> so, we're gonna jump into the upgrades when this is finally stopped saving. This game loves to save. Like, I know you can drive around the whole world, but still, it takes so long to save the game. Like, what, what are you doing? Why, why do you do this? Okay, so. Let's get into the upgrades. So we go to garage and then upgrades. Hey, how's it going? Custom what upgrade. Here we go. You? Okay. So. Drivetrain. It's already real wheel drive, so that's fine. Um, aspir no, not, let's not do aspiration. Just in case we do change the engine, but I don't think we are. Um, there's the 2JZ again. Uh, but seeing we've done 2JZ in the last episode, I don't really see the point of changing it, to be honest. Um, there's a V8. Uh, could be a good option, but I think I'm going to stick with a stock BMW engine. The old school engine, um, try and get it, try and get it boss in this. Um, so, should we single turbocharge it? For now, I'm going to say no. Um, but until we can see how much power we can actually get out of this, uh, I'm going to leave it open. So, body kit, I'm going to leave them the same, seeing as there isn't many options for that. So, street tire, um, stock tire compound, sorry, I, I can't speak today, I can't think. I don't know what's going on, so. Tire um, width, I'm going 245s on the front. I always have this thing with DMWs where I have far too much grip. Um, so I'm going to try and keep the tires quite thin, uh, so 265s on the rear. Um, I don't know what it is, it's probably just me being me, but. Yeah, it's, it's really weird. Um, it's really BBS, because BBS on old school BMWs, that is where it's at, bro. Uh, so there isn't any, but I'm sure there is some that looks like them so they could look quite sick if we recolored those I think they could look quite sick but let's have a look. let's keep looking um, I kinda like those though lows on this car uh, if we change the color again I think that would be alright um, yeah I'm just trying to look for some BBS uh, replicas here because obviously we've got the standard BBS in um, the normal class but in terms of split rims, I expected to see some more BBS in here. We've only got this one um, one lot here. So, do you know what? Let's go and slap these BBS on. I said I was going to pick BBS. So, let's go for it. 
we just put them on? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> what? Okay, so let's go 18 inch. Um, kind of want to stance this car out. I want to make it look mean. So if we go 18 inch, it doesn't look too ridiculous. Um, yeah, 19 is just looked a little bit too much. So I'm not going to go for that. Um, so that's the wheels done there. You can choose whatever wheels you want, by the way. It's up to you. So into drivetrain. Uh, we're going to do the race clutch here. Transmission. Um, a lot of people do sport, um, just the fact that you don't have to change individual, um, individual gears, but do you know what? It gives us more acceleration, more tyre spin, so I'm going to go race transmission, um, and we can adjust gear free to our specific needs. So this car weighs a lot, oh my days, 1,400 kilograms. You what? <laughs> That's mad. Okay, so did I do the... Did I do the differential? No. So race differential as well. So everything in this class was just differential. So was different. I'm oh, sorry. My brain is not working today. My brain is just not there. It's just disappeared. Um, everything in drivetrain is race. Okay. That was quite simple to say that. So platform and handling. Let's jump into this. Um, race brakes. We want as good as uh, good as brakes as we can get. To be honest. Um, Race springs, that makes it look a lot better on those BBS. I'm not going to lie. Um, what is this? What is this? Anti-roll bars. We want race anti-roll bars. We do. We do. We do. Um, but yeah, this car's looking pretty mean right now. Um, roll cage. Why not? Why not, huh? It's a four-door car. Four doors more whores, as they say. But... Yeah, let's just go for it. 1,200 kilos. Weighs a lot. That's all I'm going to say. It weighs a lot. We're going to need... We're going to say 450 to 500 bracket. If we can get there. Um, because this car is quite low horsepower. Uh, 300 horsepower at the moment. So, yeah. I'm just going to go through and put these on. Um, in the order I normally do. You can see what we're running. Uh, we're up to 375, so I want to go 450 to 500 in this car because obviously it weighs a lot. Um, we want to get those tyres spinning a little, little easier than normal. So, oil and cooling, we already done that. Uh, pistons and compressions, we can chuck this in. 393 there. Okay, displacement. 420 horsepower. Okay, we're going up. We're going up. Um, valves, what we say in here. 434 horsepower. That wasn't really in much. That wasn't. Didn't, I can't speak today. I don't know what it is. I just. I'm not thinking before I speak, so I just start speaking some absolute language that I do not understand. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. 468 horsepower. I said I wanted to be in this bracket. Um, we've got one more upgrade to do, which is the throttle body, which puts us up to 485 horsepower, which is in the bracket, I did say. So let's go do that. Everything was racing here. So pretty simple upgrades here. Race engine, race platform and handling, race drivetrain, uh, stock tyres, whatever rims you want, and no conversion or no turbocharger. So, very simple upgrades there. Very simple. So, let's try and get this thing sliding now. Uh, make it feel... Um, I want it to feel slidey. Like, I want it to feel very easy to slide, but I also want that stableness that I do like. Um, a lot of people do say that I'm off... Um, I can't speak! Uh, a lot of people do say um, I'm obsessed with stableness, but I'm drifting. Like I want to be as stable as I can, um, especially when you're trying to tandem, etc. Uh, you don't want the back end going absolutely everywhere. So I try and aim for as much stableness as I can get before the tires start gripping up all the time. So this BM is looking pretty sweet right now. Um, I wish you could do offset. If you could do offset, this game would be absolutely insane. So this car looks like a boat. <laughs> that is my first um, my first observation it looks like boat the logic I'm driving a car that looks like a boat ok so it's sliding quite well uh, tyre spin feels ok um, I don't know how gear 3 is going to do around the, the shorter corners uh, but maybe we could tune it to be gear 3 only let's aim for that ok let's go Okay, very good angle there. Anna, get off my screen, bro.
Okay. That is amazingly stable already. And it didn't struggle around that tight corner there in gear 3, so... I think the gearing's about spot on. Uh, this car's about spot on, to be fair. <laughs> Look at this! Look how stable that is! Madness! Oh, sorry, I was looking at the side of the car then. I wasn't seeing where I was going. Um, <laughs> I was going like straight at the wall. I was like, no! <laughs> okay, so... In terms of this car, I don't see the point of actually changing anything. Uh, I'm going to do slight adjustments, but... Why change a car that works, huh? So, tire pressure in the front I can bring down because I want more feeling in my wheel. I want the tires on the front to grip a little bit more, give me some little bit more response. And um, the gearing seemed a little bit, a uh, little bit long. So let's just take it a little bit short, but only the smallest bit because it didn't bog down in gear three, so it seems fine. Um, camber in the rear, we can just go up. Just a tiny bit. We're not doing big adjustments here because this car feels, it felt absolutely amazing to start off with. So I don't really see the point of adjusting anti-roll bars, springs, etc. Um, we could do the ride height, that's fine. Uh, but I don't see the point of adjusting that because it works. There's no point um, adjusting this to make it even more stable when I was just holding it sideways for days then. So let's go for that. Um, would you like to apply it now? Yes. Um, basically I just locked the differential there and that should help us with a little bit more tyre spin uh, but yeah this car I feel like an absolute boat it's got a, t um, a big wheelbase so obviously it is going to be stable um, whatever tune you do slap on this oh well that was my fault sorry um, gear 3 felt very fine around there good in transitions as well for a very long wheelbase car it doesn't feel sh sluggish through transitions which is very very good and it's got that power to just pull out of that because a lot of cars wouldn't have made it through that gap then sideways uh, but this car had the power it pulled itself round which I liked now, this car's got a good feeling about it this could be like one of the new best cars you know and it feels very stable it's got the power it's got the angle it's just stable. It's got the tyre spin as well with the stableness, which is perfect. I've done it again. That was my fault. I just keep messing up there. Okay, so gear 3 doesn't fog down either, which is another good thing about this car. Let's get it close to that wall. That's sick. So yeah, I really like this line on Forza Horizon 2. This is probably my favourite line on the game. Um, it's just so smooth. And you can get good tandems around it as well. Um, so yeah, this car's feeling pretty sick to be fair. Uh, we've got the rain coming. We always have to ro have rain in these episodes. It's religious right now. So we'll see how this performs in the rain as well. It's going to be a little bit more slippier. A little, li little bit less grip in here. Yeah, I didn't do it that time. Do you want to turn my lights off? Lights on, please. Lights, please. Thank you. Oh, see, I couldn't see because my lights wasn't on, so I hit the barrier. Okay, that's your fault, lights. Get close to the wall. Oh my god, I hit the wall. Shit. But yeah, this car's feeling absolutely amazing. Um, it's got a nice look to it. Um, you could choose whatever paint you want, obviously. Uh, but this car's got a very, very nice look to it. Yeah, it's got a very nice um, stableness. Uh, should we go in for the spin? Let's do it. Why not? Car building a tune in spin. No, oh, <laughs> that flopped. Eight thousand coins. Yolo. So yeah, leave a comment with what car you want to see next episode. Um, I'm sorry there wasn't much tuning in this episode, but there's no need to tune a car that works. So I don't see the point of ruining a tune that works. So this car feels absolutely amazing. Wow, the rain caught me off guard there. I thought I could hold that. But I just went in with a bit too much throttle there, which was, it was my fault. It wasn't the car. Um, it was me not adjusting to the rain. So, yeah, leave a comment of what car you want to see next episode. Um, check out the giveaway if you haven't. And also, um, check out this car. If you want to copy the tune down, you can do that. But at the end of this episode, I will put this car onto the storefront. So you can just go on there and download the tune, which is a little bit easier than copying it down. Uh, but then the tune won't be unlocked so if you do want to unlock the tune 
um, that you can adjust yourselves to more to meet your needs. Um, you can do that. Um, just copy copy the tune from the video, basically. Um, so not many adjustments. Um, you can just copy the upgrades, which are very very simple in themselves, um, and just drift the car stock um, stock tune, should I say? Um, there's no turbo, there's no turbo lag, etc. Um, so this car feels absolutely amazing, to be fair. A little bit of a wall tap there. It was a little bit of a, a wall clunk. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this car's feeling absolutely amazing. One of my new best cars, I think. It'll be very good for tandems. It's got the speed, it's got the tyre spin, it's got the angle. So I think it's going to be a new, a new car for me. Um, so I don't see the point of giving it, giving it another run. It feels perfect how it is. Um, so I'm going to put this tune up onto the sore front right now, uh, just for you guys to download. Uh, so let's save the setup. Uh, I'm just going to save it as Drift. I spelled Drift wrong already. I can't even spell. I can't speak. I can't think. And I can't spell. My brain. So let's do that. This is now saving. And we will have the option to upload it right here. So I'm going to put it up as Drift. Best for handling. And share. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment with what you want to see next episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.